everyone and welcome back to the Invitational's monthly series here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick. I am one of yours alongside the suit, Mr. James Church Morley. We're in. We're playing knockout magic now. Yeah, that's it. Loser goes home. Winner Loser goes next. Goes yeah. Loser goes, ho goes on to the next round. It's the quarterfinals, your top eight playoff. We have Jeffrey Chan versus Eugene Wong on the left and right. Uh, both players we've seen on the uh, on the stream earlier today. Jeffrey is playing um, the green, the bunt, uh, like cocoa deck. Yep. Just, just no, straight up on it, yeah. And then Eugene here is playing green, red, um, hollow one, I think. Green, red, dredge. dredge. He's playing right, dredge. Right, yeah. Oh, he's playing Jan Dredge, yeah. So, uh, I believe Jeffrey is top seed. Is he top seed? Uh, no, he's number five seed. So right, so this is the fourth and fifth. The player. Player. Fourth and fifth uh, seed. Oh, I've got such a big headache right now. I need food. Need food. Yeah, I need food in me. flagging. That's a, yeah, I think so. I don't know about you, but like, I've got like... I get I get these like headache spells whenever I don't have enough like food in me. That's why I bought snacks today. And it's oh. yeah, I had my Ritz biscuits. That's a nice. I had my cookies. Nice. I've just been eating Blake's cookie really bad. Shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't. Yeah, too much sugar. Sh shouldn't yeah, I don't yeah. don't like it. Yeah, but <laughs> such is life. Uh, so yeah, looks like Eugene's uh, gonna go first. Uh, World War Two here saying Eugene Wong's totally gonna win though. I don't know about that. Jeffrey Chan is the 2017 uh, Grey yeah. Games yeah. Invitational Champion. Yeah. Also seems like he's playing a deck that would have rest in peace in the sideboard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one because that's that's one yeah. consideration. That would be my main consideration. Right. Yeah. He may not get there game one, but games two game and three, two and three yeah. rest in peace is going to be. It's going to be. It's good. So this looks like a fa this looks like a faceless looting. And we've already had results of. I think one of the semi-finals is uh already or oh, somebody somebody conceded yeah i think so right. so we've got mono red phoenix in the semi-finals we've got to get that on next i want to watch that yeah uh, so i'm in charge of choosing what matches we're gonna have that on next yeah i, I don't i don't care i'm like i'm gonna see you like what's gonna what yeah. you i'm seeing a botanical sanctum into birds of paradise that's a we're, that's a nice start but i think eugene's a, yeah yeah we're gonna see a five card dredge here from stink we Dimp. Creeping so chill, creeping chill, creeping chill. Copperline Gorge, creeping chill. Yep. One, faithless looting. Copperline Gorge, two. Bloodgust. Whoa! All right, so Bloodgust is, is this is good. Great, great uh, dredge. Um, Back to twenty. And he, yeah, something that would have been even better if there was like a there was a uh, price amalgam in there, right? Yeah. But I'm I'm pretty sure you can get and a price amalgam in there. Lost. That's good play. All right. Life from the loam. Got to kill the yeah. Uh, kill the birds. Yeah. Copperline Gorge. Into Bloodgast, yep. And that's fine. That's a so that's a great player. So, but Dark Blast is now the only card in uh, in the graveyard that you can dredge. Yeah, dredge three. Is that was no, there a Golgari? Gogari There's a Golgari Oh, okay. All so right. Dredge so four. Next turn. Dredge four next turn. Hopefully hits. Let's say like a Nakamiba and a uh, yeah. Prized amalgams. Prized amalgam, all of yeah. the all of the good stuff. Yep. We're gonna see Temple Garden untap for Jeffrey. But Jeffrey, I mean, like, Jeffrey's got, like, Path to Exiles. He's got... Yeah, he's got he has some Voice have, Resurgence. ...have a uh, pretty good value. Uh, World War II is asking, who's the beatdown in this matchup? I believe the beatdown is dredge. the aggressive player. Is the dredge. dredge There's player, a price yeah. to Magum, Cathartic Reunion. That's nice. That is a... I'm uh, just going to sit there waiting. <laughs> Attack for two. No real... You know, he's going to need to enable the prize to Malgum. Yeah, uh, I he, I think he was hoping for Jeffrey to like block so that the uh, yeah so he could get it. Goes in. Jeffrey obviously well well ahead of this right. So face yep. looting flashback. We're gonna dredge Gogari Thug, four cards. Yep. He wants life. an Akamiba. He definitely wants an Akamiba. And then life from the loam. And life from the loam. We're gonna yep. dredge three. Another life from Two, the loam. Three. Come on, Akamiba. Oh, chill. Chill, That's though. okay. Yeah. Where are all the Nakamibas? Yeah. Where are they? Where are Come the blood gas? You know. Where, no, where are the price amalgams? He's gone through almost like a quarter of the deck, a third of yeah, the deck. Yeah, a third of the deck, yeah. And, you know, only one price amalgam, no Nakamibas, only one Bloodgast. 
That's fine. You know, there's going to be some... Uh, but he did He's going to get there. He did mill a lot of his enablers, right? We saw yeah, a lot. Of, he's got a lot of dredge cards. Two kata, yeah, yeah two Stingweed Ims. Reunions. Stingweed Ims, Dark Blast, uh, Golgari Thugs. Misty Those Rainforest. Good, yeah. Misty Rainforest is going to probably get a, a basic forest. I mean, if this is a night, from, a night of the Reliquary, you just feel awful, right? You know, it's just, really <laughs> just, <laughs> just, like, oh, just not good enough. Like, it looks like it is going to be a night of the Reliquary, uh, but it just feels quite inadequate. Yeah, it's a three three. Well, I guess it will help to block so the black guys. Dredge five. And it gets I mean it gets bigger. Okay, Stingweed right? Imp, Cathartic Union, prized amalgam, Faith is Looting. <laughs> oh come on. I mean the Faith is Looting flashback now for the Stingweed Imp would be the amazing, Thug seems yeah. very, very nice. He just got it. You're almost fl- you're almost you're almost on the conflagrate kill now as well here. Oh yeah, yeah. Because of the you know, you've got so many life from the loams, you can just yeah, we're going to see the flashback face looting. I'm going to see a, a Stinkweed Imp and a Golgari Thug. Yes, here we go. Imp goes out. These, these Narka are hiding. Yeah, ah, one. there we there's go, one. there we go. And another and creeping, creeping chill. chill. Yeah, so Jeffrey here goes down to six. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a little bit dangerous. That's not going to happen until yeah. the dredge finishes. You don't get to Creeping Chill until the resolved faceless looting happens. And uh, double Creeping Chill there would have been like freaking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, By the way. Blood gas, better land. Blood gas comes back. So, uh, prized amalgams are going to come back. Blood gas are going to come back for pays of land. They mm-hmm. now have haste because Jeffrey's at six life, mm-hmm. and he has a land to play. Um, uh, World War Two is asking Anakos just for beats or use uh, as sec fodder for some combo. So no, they're, 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 they're they're, but they're used right to get to trigger prized amalgams. Yes, they come only, in. only. That's what if you draw them. You are unhappy. Yeah. You you want to be discarding them if you draw them. Yeah, that's why you have cathartic reunions and faithless lootings to discard yeah. your drawn Nark Amoebas. Mm-hmm. Um, Lord Jesus says hello. Hello to you, Lord Jesus. Thanks for joining the stream. I know uh, Pro Tour... Uh, not Pro Tour, sorry. The GP. World Magic Cup. World Magic Cup is like happening right now, right? Standard, though. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, whatever. Pish. It's standard. Push. Uh... Can Black White Eldrazi still hang in this meta? Nope. No. 100% no. Too aggressive. Eldrazi decks now, they don't exist. Yeah. And we've talked about this before. You know, there used to be a Eldrazi Tron was a deck. Mm-hmm. Black White Eldrazi, which is obviously uses things like uh, Eldrazi Tide Hollow Scholar, Eldrazi Displacer. Yeah, but it's not a real thing. Yeah. You can play, uh, sorry, you can play the cards if you want to. <laughs> you will get severely beaten for playing them. <laughs> Yeah, man. The, all the decks now are just like doing such unfair things. They just do stuff like this. Yeah. I mean, th- this 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 bam nightfall looks very fair, but it's just you know. Right who, now, who cares, right? Uh, right now, it's you very put, fair. You played like, one spell a turn. I put nine power creatures <laughs> into play in one <laughs> turn, and every uh, you know. Right now, it's very fair. We just wait until like t- game two, right? Game two is when yeah, that's I just what, play one card and that's, like your that's the whole point of just, playing these dredge decks, isn't it? Is to you know, you gotta you're gonna you're gonna roll someone game one mm-hmm. and then you've only gotta split two of you know, one of the next two and if you draw your ancient grudges or your nature's claims then you can probably and you're get ready, there. yeah. Yeah. The problem is the better dredge becomes, the more people sideboard against it. The worse it becomes, so they don't sideboard against it. So the better it becomes, so they do <laughs> you know, it's like uh it's like um it's like the Ouroboros. Ouroboros. You know, the, the dragon eating his own tail, oh. it just follows when you see a Nakami bear. Uh, All right, so Nakamiba enters, and a crippling chill sets down uh, Jeffrey down to three. three. Uh, has he milled a conflagrate yet? Because then he can just conflagrate. He yeah, can, he can for the win. You just attack, right? Uh, what you, he's got a collected company, presumably. Okay, looks like he's. Where are these yeah. conflagrates? I know. Faithless looting, flash black. Being able to conflagrate might be the play. Oh, we're going to life from there. Okay. It's three lands. Just needs lands. Yeah, Jeffrey here going to be in a lot of, tr- lot of trouble right yeah, now. Swing, swing, swing. Collected company. He needs a good, yeah, he needs a good Coco. I don't think he's got it. He's got Path. Uh, he's got right in path, hand. and that's about it. Path that seems ineffective. So we're going to line up some blocks to not die. That's what he's going to do. And 
Lord Jesus saying, in mono tr- green tron still good. Yes, still good. Hmm. Casting Khan on turn three is still very good. Yeah. Um, and sometimes casting Wormcoil Engine is also good enough. <laughs> Depends on the deck you're playing. Definitely one of the, the pillars of the format at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, Jeffrey's seen Jeffrey's enough. Gonna, you know. Seen yep. enough. So, so this is this is this this now becomes the interesting game, right? What sideboard hate does Jeffrey have? Does he draw it? Yeah. So the, I'm, the, I'm the assuming part. it's rest in pieces. It has to be. I mean, like yeah, some uh, rest in peace. Uh, so it's, you it's know, normally rest in peace or surgical extraction. And uh, Reflector Mage is actually very good in this matchup. They are very good. Because like, you push back. They are very good. Oh, so he's got the Bajuka Bog as well. That's the other thing he can get. Oh, yeah. So I don't that's know if right. he actually has... I don't think he's got Rest in Pieces. No, he does. Uh, no, 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 that's no, Stony Silence. That's yeah. a Stony Silence. I think he's just <gasps> got the Bajuka oh, Bog. no. Um, that's not enough. Looking at Knight of the Autumn there, the new card from Guilds of Ravnica that allows you to do various things, destroy artifact, charm, and gain four life, two plus one plus one counters. Negates the front of the sideboard. Yeah, that's not enough. I don't think Jeffrey here has enough, uh, you know, hate for dredge. Doesn't look like it. Lord, Lord Jesus says, my buddy plays Infect. How do I beat him as Tron? Um, you don't. Yeah, you it just seems like lie a very li- lopsided matchup. You lie down. You try not to cry and then cry a lot. Like, it, it's a hard matchup, man. Like, that is not... I mean, the, the the problem with the Tron deck is that they don't get really started until turn three. Their first couple of turns are setting up. Yeah. They want to use the Expedition maps and Chromatic Stars and Spheres to cycle through the decks, find their Tron pieces, mm-hmm. and then turn three, have three of them, and then play a Khan or a Wormcoil engine, and then go, well, you tried your best. <laughs> you tried your <laughs> hardest, yeah. but you but, didn't um, quite get there, and yeah. that's just life, okay? But, <laughs> the, you know, but the Infect decks are remarkably... You know, they're fast. They're, they're, like, they're quick, they're and like, especially if they're unimpeded and they know that there's going to be no counterplay. If yeah. they know that they don't have to, they don't have to worry about counter spells or removal. They're just going to like push in just with everything. Destroy, and go, yeah. oh, just go as quickly as possible. You know, the the, the infect decks is better when you can control them with like mm-hmm. removal, um, or slow them down with creatures to block them and make them think a little bit about whether it's the right time to play their spells. If they can just know they've got a free shot at you, they'll probably just try and. Um, finish you off as quick as possible. Yeah. Well, with that being said, like I think one of the easiest ways to deal with Tron would be uh, out so t- sorry as Tron to deal with uh, Infect decks and in fact all types of ag- uh, aggressive decks is to use um, what's that? All those uh, colorless removals, nameless and not nameless inversion. Spatial contortions. Spatial contortions. Yeah. Those those type of spells. Uh, but uh, it can backfire. Somebody casts a spatial contortion in response. I groundswell, and then now you're dead yep. even faster. Vines of the vast word or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It is a hard matchup, but that's that's modern, right? Some some yeah. matches Tron just absolutely dominate. You know, exactly, and some matches it just doesn't, and that's just life. And you, mm-hmm. know, you could have the best deck in the room, but. Modern's one of those things where if you're paired against someone that can just beat you, then you're gonna have a really hard time. Yeah, problem is that there is no best deck, right? Like there's the best deck for the meta, but even then, somebody can come along and is like, yeah, I've just got. I mean, there this are definitely deck. better decks. Let's put it that there, way. There are, there are better decks, but there are, there's no there best are better deck, yeah. decks. Yeah, there are better decks. There aren't best decks. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's it's just. You know how? Okay, so to answer your question, my uh, my buddy plays in fact. So how do I beat Tron? Don't play Tron play Bogos or something like that. Sp- uh, Bant Spirits, I don't know. You know, who knows? Yeah. Seems good. <laughs> for, for Infect. As we saw in that's round one. Check oh, it yeah, out, yeah. You know, check true. it out. You know, the Bant Spirits Infect match at YouTube.com. slash Games. Oh, good. See, good, see, good, see uh, all, of the reset, all of the replays <laughs> from our tournaments. <laughs> all right, Sorry, good. I haven't dropped one in like four rounds. Nice, I was itchy. Nice. I was waiting for it. Good one. There it is. You get one That's shi- the callback. The Grey yeah. Games gets one shill around from yeah. me. You know, it gets one <laughs> shill. The callbacks, the callbacks. The trip, uh, triple, triple, is it? What do they call it in comedy? The triplet and triplet. Where they do like three callbacks to earlier jokes. Or earlier stuff. Oh, I see. Anyway, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on blue white control? Some streamers think it is trash. I think it's alright. Yeah, it's I very fair. It's like it's it's a fair. They're all fair decks. Terminus the 
sometimes if you just flip it, you randomly win. That's, yeah. that's my that's my take on it. Mm. And the deck is now basically a terminus deck. Yeah, you're just like hoping, you know, you, you're either stacking it on top on like for turn five with your Jace on turn four, sacrificing your Jace. Yeah. Or uh, blind, blind. What sometimes you just blind flip, blind it with flip the on turn two, yeah. And then you go, all right, see you later. You know, it just, just sometimes just works like that. And you just go just, like blind flip on turn two, and like you and win the game. And that's just life. Yeah, that is just life. That's, that's modern. Just how it works. Yeah. yeah. So that is the modern life. But it has some good matchups and some bad okay. matchups. You know, it was better. I think it's more consistent now as blue white than it was as Jeskai. Yeah. Jeskai was fine. You got lightning bolts, electrolyzers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I think blue white's more consistent. You take less damage from your mana base. Mm. I don't think you're missing much with the lightning bolts. And yeah. The, you're only missing reach, right? That's the problem that was in there for reach. reach. Yeah. Yeah, from there. A little oh. bit of reach, yeah. So you're gonna see a, a dredge five, three lands, sting wow. within priced amalgam. He needs to bring something back. He drew the Nakamiba. Oh, the sadness. Shriekhorn. Nice. Right, that's going to be Mill adding myself stuff. Two, looking for an Akamiba. Yes, I found one. Yes. Yeah, there we go. I prized the Magum's coming back. Comes back. Needs land, so. Oh, we can see Arab Mesa getting sacrificed. Uh, Nakamibas and Bloodgast turn on Amalgam. Anything else? No, I don't think so. No, those just, only just those, those two cards. Just yeah. those cards. Just those cards. Yeah. The, the cool thing about Nak Nakamiba, it's, it's a when trigger, right? Which means that you can essentially play a, uh, what's that? A surgical Extraction. Yeah. And that will just mess up your opponent. So there's a Nakami another Nakamiba, another prized Amalgam off of the Faces Looting. So oh, it's yeah. a Dredge 5 and we're going to see a... Oh, he's drawing a card. And he drew oh, a crippling drew chill. A Such sadness. Oh, should have, no. should have. Gonna... Oh, uh, I'm calling it now. He's going to cast that crippling chill to end the game. Yeah, yeah. Calling, he needs, call, he calling, needs it like calling it now. Calling it now. <coughs> the last, the, the lightning helix, right? Yeah. Uh, path to exile at the front of Jeffrey's hand there. Just thinking about whether he wants to remove one of the promised amalgams. Looks like World War Two called it right. Like Eugene, Eugene looks like he is in control of this game. I think this is just a very good matchup. So yeah, it, it does feel like Jeffrey's deck is like way too fair, right? Like so you're playing Tyler's tracker. Tyler's I tracker mean, who cares? on three. Yeah, like this blocks fine. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? It blocks once. It blocks a prized amalgam, which may come back. I w I'm surprised we're not going to see. It. I think we should see a Shriek Corn Mill before draw step here. <sighs> Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Build going myself. Another Nakamiba. There we there go. There we go. Okay. So before the draw step, I'm going to dredge five. Oh, yes. This is so good. This deck is so good. Oh, good there it is. You, yo. that. One down. This deck is so good. I love this deck. I think this deck is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I played Tron. I play a ton of Paper Legacy and my friends are really getting into modern. I'm having a hard time finding a nice modern deck. Play Dredge. Play Dredge. It's Burn. very similar to like... Burn. Yeah. Well... The problem is there, nah, there's no... There there's is, no best there deck, is yeah. no, There is no... Oh, another Creeping Chill. Oh, this is just, this is just, oh, this this is just, just going just off like now. This is just like gravy. Yeah, Blood Gut, uh, Life from the Loam. Dredge another three. Conflagrate, Bloodgast, yeah. oh, a land land drop here is going to be amazing. It just got like two Bloodgasts. It just yeah. got oh, two Bloodgasts. Um, yeah, Stink Weed Imps. A land drop here, get back all of those Bloodgasts. The normal price amalgams out there. Uh, no, setting up for that creeping chill kill of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think he'd rather just go like life from the loam, life from the loam. So, so, so the, the the difference between Legacy and Modern is there is some comparison across decks, but not much because you know Legacy has a much wider card 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 pool, mm -hmm. right? And Stone like Stone Blade, like you can't play Stoneforge Mystic, yep. Which, as we were saying earlier, complete complete rubbish, right? It's, it's not a complete, great card, yeah. Complete, complete crap. Um, <laughs> you know, exactly something something Legacy ish is going to be just Delver, like blue red Delver, but it doesn't have the same. Because there's no dazes, no force of wills, right. wasteland, yeah. so you can't do as much stuff as you'd want to. You could play, I don't know, 
I think if you want to play fair magic, you can just play Jund or something like this that Jeffrey's playing, but it's pretty yeah, boring. But Jund's, yeah, Jund's expensive. Jund's yeah, expensive. So expensive. And it's like, yeah, and yeah, I think Jund requires you to so have a really good understanding of the format, right? Yeah, because yeah. like when you thought season, when you inquisition your opponent on turn one, yeah, like you need to know exactly what he's playing and what you need to what you need to uh, discard to disable your yeah. opponent for the next few turns. So. I don't know. I I would, I would advise against Jan. I would. Uh, I I don't know anything like any. There's no. The problem is the yeah, styles of the styles play, yeah? of play don't yeah. quite exist. That's the difference, right? There's no like. If you like aggro, aggro yeah. control deck like a Delver. There's no tempo deck like yeah. a. Um, what in Legacy? Hard. Yeah. No. No. In modern. Oh, in modern. There's okay, no. Yeah. These decks aren't really things right modern decks are mainly graveyard decks right we said they're faithless suiting decks they're ancient staring decks there's uh, stomping ground decks uh yeah, well, yeah stomping yeah, ground yeah, yeah the control decks. Decks. and then there's control decks yeah, yeah. um and you have to f and most like 90 percent of archetypes fit into one of those four categories mm -hmm. or eighth of our decks and you have to just pick one which oh one. Yeah, yeah so so the spirits or spirits, yeah, spirits humans, or humans spirits or humans or yeah yeah but, but merfolk's also being merfolk's go too slow so yeah when you say like merfolk is too slow that's crazy right you think about it it's like how did that happen so if you want to you know combo in modern isn't really a a thing for because they they've banned most of the common pieces so the only real yeah. co combos are like through the breach and emrakul that's a combo well deck. there's storm Blue there's Red the storm is a deck yeah but you have to that rewards you for like playing thousands of games against people to mm -hmm. know how to play it out um, you combo, can there are like combo ish Vizier, decks. Vizier, oh, creeping chill there. Yeah, I told you he's gonna to he's gonna attack for five, attack for Narcomoeba, down to two, and then he's gonna cast a creeping chill <laughs> from his hand to win the game. <laughs> oh no, 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 not this turn. no, not this turn. That's so disappointing. No, he's gonna get back a few lands, and he's just gonna conflagrate you. Ah, he's gonna conflagrate you. Yeah, that's such a disappointing cool shot. I was so happy. I was so grateful. <laughs> I was like, in my oh, mind, I was just gonna like, it. like drop my mic and be like, <laughs> walk off into the sunset. Be like, I'm done. There's no nothing more I can say. Okay. I mean, Eugene's it, like he's had a pretty easy run at this, right? Yeah. Jeffrey's just hasn't done anything. He's just like, yeah, just attack. That's fine. You can just attack with everything. Doesn't matter. Let him line up blocks. I'm like, just gonna conflagrate you for five. And Jeffrey says, "You've got me." And that's it. Yeah, yeah right, good. good. That's the last of the quarterfinals. What? We're, that's the last of the quarterfinals. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna so go. I'm yeah. gonna. I'm gonna go find a semi-final for us. We're gonna have I'm a. Deck, so sure. Uh, we're gonna have a semi-finals match coming out right after this. So don't go away. Remember, you can join us on the stream. Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Singapore time, twitch.tv slash Google Games. And this entire month, or the remainder of this month, Sundays, we're going to have a tournament. Next week is going to be Legacy. So, uh, you know, players like Lord Jesus, yourself, you can go and tune in for some Legacy action. And then the week after that will be a little bit modern. Well, that's when we'll be playing the seasonal qualifiers for the Google Games Invitationals. Uh, you can also join us on uh, youtube.com slash Games. Watch all the replays. And last but not least, do check out our, uh, check out our website, greyogregames.com uh, to find out more about the Invitationals. And you can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch, uh, Twitter. We'll see you guys in a bit, so don't go away. <laughs>